dead road is never an end road. Follow the road. It will lead you somewhere. So don't give up. Who is laughing at you? Your waiting time is not your wasting time. Tell them. Don't ever forget this. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But if you are born again, get ready to reign again. Genesis chapter 40. And I want to look at it from verse 5 through 8. And they dream a dream, both of them. Each one his dream in one night. Each according to the interpretation of his dream. The butler and the baker of the king of Egypt. Who were bound in prison. Or in the prison. Verse 6. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning. And looked upon them. And behold, they were sad. Today mark the end of sadness. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the world of his Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look here so sadly today. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretation belong to God. Tell me, then I pray thee. Verse 14. And, but think on me when it shall be well with thee. And show kindness, I pray thee, unto me. And make mention of me unto Pharaoh. And bring me out of this house. Bring me out of this house. Let me say again. Life is about dreaming. If you don't have a dream, then it will be difficult for you to function in the real world. The real world is controlled by the dream world. What am I trying to say? And when I talk about dream, please understand again, I am not talking about that thing that you go to sleep and you say, I saw myself like this, I saw myself like this. Partially, yes. But the dream I'm talking about is the vision, the aspiration, and the you that you are seeing ahead of you that is bigger than you. That's a dream. Because when we are using the language, let me pass. Where are you passing to? Until you know where you are passing to, you realize that wherever you pass to may not benefit you. So there are people who now say, let me pass. Let me pass. According to Numbers 21, 21. Let me pass. Let me pass. Where are you passing to? So we've got to first decide or define what dream is all about. Because you may be here right now. Let me pass. What do you want to pass to? I want to marry. Good. But that is not a dream. Are you with me here today? Let me pass. Where do you want to pass to? I, I want to eat. I need something to wear. I need some makeup. I need some nice suit. I need some shoe. Awesome. Good. As good as they are. That is not a dream. So, by the time we begin to use the word, let me pass. We have got to know where am I going. Okay, I want to pass. I want to go to, let's say, London or America. That is not a dream. Because why are you going there? And if you are going there, what is the purpose? Where are you going definitely? What are your plans? What have you attempted here in Nigeria that you want to say you will improve on over there? Those are the things. Praise the Lord. Because uh, you always hear Archbishop of Blessed Memory tell us that a, a lizard in Nigeria can never be a crocodile in America or in London. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hear me, child of God. When we use the word, let me pass, is what I'm saying. Now, for every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, life is about dreaming. And no one here knows my word. None of us here is too small to dream. For instance, if you are a student, there should be a dream of having a first class. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying here? There should be a dream of I came on campus as a first class product. Lord, this is my dream. Everyone must have a dream. And if a man is not having 
a dream, I tell you, life can be so frustrating. Your dream is what keeps you up. Your dream is what makes you want to pray more. Your dream is what wants to make you come to church when your mates are going to watch Asena and Manchester. What I'm saying is that it is not a vision. So I will not waste my energy on it. I'm not going to waste my mandula on Blangata waking up in the night to know how much um, how much mercy is going to end in the new club when you are not yet earning anything and the one you are even earning is not enough to even I don't want to go into that, come on shout hallelujah so we've got to design it let me pass this what we are saying now where are we passing to where is the definition, where is the destination does it have definition if it has definition, does it have a destination? If it has a destination, is the destination worth it? I will go back into this. Joseph was still a young man. Was still a young man. About 17, if, I may, if I'm right. Still a young man. He had a dream. He had a dream. And with this dream, the dream was not myopic. This dream was not a dream of I ate salad in the dream. The dream was not a dream. It was bigger than him. Until your dream is bigger than you, you don't need God. You don't need God. That's the reason why many of us can take our life anyhow. So, Joseph had a dream. And in his dream, with all he saw, he told his brothers, they hated him. You know one thing about what our dream provoke? It can provoke hatred. But let me quickly say if you have a dream it's good but you need interpretation of your dream until your dream is defined it will never make you fine I'm serious so it's got to have definition I have a dream now you can't have the definition until you have the interpretation what many lack is interpretation when i mean interpretation i am talking about actualization i am talking about making it a reality walking the dream that is the interpretation but the truth about it is how many have a dream now there are some that think they are dreaming they are not dreaming and there are some that are really dreaming but they lack interpretation we come into that praise the lord so joseph said i have a dream now with that dream Joseph can really say, let me pass. Praise God. But his brother said he will not pass. His brother said to him, does it mean you will be greater than us? This kind of move you are moving in this house, does it mean you will be greater than us? Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said they hated him. The hatred did not stop him from dreaming. Nigeria should not stop you from dreaming. Nigeria should not stop you from dreaming. So, he had this dream. And this dream saw him to the pits. Like when he entered that pit, like some of you right now, the situation may look like that pit because you have a dream. One thing about dream, dreamers face attack, but their dream bring them out. Did you hear what I said here? Dreamers face what? Attack, but their dream bring them out. Because once you attack, attack does not mean you will die. Attack sometimes means you are on the right track. I give example. Do you see anybody tackling a footballer who is not with a ball? Talk to me now. Once he's with a ball and heading towards the opponent goal, all eyes and all legs and all hands are trying to bring him down. The opponent eyes that are watching as spectators they are wishing that he dropped dead. He must not score in our... Come on, talk to me here. Why the people that are praying with him, they are after him to bring him down. If you miss the ball, don't miss the leg. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying? So, sometimes, sometimes they strategically put people on the board inside the training room. The coach will tell them, are you seeing this person? He's a useless person. Leave him, he can't score. Are you seeing that one? It is a one round pitch without direction. That one is that one is visionless. He does not have a dream. Are you see this one? It's a confused person. If you say hey, hey, he could drop or give you. 
Are you seeing this one? Three of you mark him. Make sure he don't cross. And can I tell you, that's the person that will still cross. You know why? Because he also know that he has a dream on how to beat those three people. In fact, in his drawing board, he has made a plan of how to beat five people. So if you send two people to him, you have underrated him. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying? Because he's prepared. But the truth is that are you prepared? Are you prepared? Before one person attack you, you have, you have resigned. You have resigned. You have gone back. So, Joseph took this food to his brothers. They took the fruit from Joseph. They sat down to eat the food. But the owner of the food was thrown in the pit. Why? Because of his dream. They threw him down. They wish him dead. But guess what? They changed their mind because Joseph said, I saw myself in the palace. He didn't see himself in the pit. So pit cannot kill him. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying here? Let me say this here. Where you see yourself is where you will end. Anytime you see yourself in any place that is not of God, sit down and pray and cancel it. So myself in the palace. That was the interpretation of his dream. And now his brothers took him to the pit. The pit, pit may be attached to pit, but it's not palace. So while he was there, the same people changed their mind. They said, let us sell him. And they sold him. Now, I don't want to go into deep into it. Inside Pontify's house, he was busy interpreting dream of Pontify. Then, not quite long, the woman lied against him, tried to seduce him to have sexual carnal knowledge of her. She refused because the woman was trying to kill the ability to dream and interpret dream. And now, Joseph found himself in prison. The prison kept him inside the prison. That was where his destiny was shaped. How do I know? Because he was put inside the prison that has people from the palace. The place he dreamt of. Praise the Lord. Because sometimes you've got to see an airport before you arrive in the airport. Are you, are you sure you're here? So we saw a Joseph now who entered prison who woke up one day and saw two people sad. And I said, if I see your facial look, two things I will know. Number one, either you don't have a dream or you don't have interpretation. Praise God. Either you don't have a dream or interpretation. So he said, why are you sad today? They said, how can we not be sad when we have a dream and no one to interpret? And Joseph said, tell me, because interpretation belongs to the Lord. That takes me to what I've been saying on Sunday. That if God gives you a dream, you need God to fulfill in the dream. You need God to interpret in the dream. No native doctor can interpret any dream that God gives to a man. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? You'll be wasting your time. Because at the end of the day, God gave Pharaoh a dream. Genesis chapter 41, verse 1. And it came to pass at the end of two full years. Note it now. Joseph done the prison for two years now. And it came to pass. Now, now they want to release Joseph. It came to pass because God needed to go and give Pharaoh a dream that will make Joseph to be remembered. There's somebody here. God will give you a dream. And it came to pass after the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed and behold, he stood by a river. That's all. God confused. He called his cabinet together. He called the wise men. He called the astrologers. He called the magicians. He called probably the professors of his days. He called the wise men of his days. He said, please sit down. All of you, I have a dream. I need you to interpret my dream. Guess what? With all their educational ability and prowess, none of them could interpret the dream. Do you know why? Because the dream was not given by man. It was given by God. And any dream that God gives you, you need a godly person to interpret it. I repeat myself. I said yesterday, sin cannot interpret God's dream. Sin cannot. That is the reason why we need God. That is the reason for salvation. 
The reason for salvation is why? Because we need to take our step back to a place where we can interpret dreams. And where our own dream can be interpreted. How can Pharaoh have a dream? And the whole cabinet, nobody can interpret it. Listen to me. Nigeria today needs men with dream. Needs men who are godly, who can stand to interpret dream. Am I communicating here? So at the end of the day, we realize that Pharaoh began to look for who can interpret dream. And look at here in the prison, there is a man who is standing right with God. He's the only one who can interpret that dream. In the whole land of Egypt, don't forget Egypt represents sin. So in Egypt, there's no one standing right that can say he will interpret dream. So that made Pharaoh to resort to looking in prison. Guess what? Joseph was being removed when he interpreted the dream of one of the prisoners. He said to him, tomorrow you'll be called back to your position. Tomorrow Pharaoh will take you back. But when you get there, remember me, guess what? The man forgot him for two years. You know why? Joseph was simply saying, I have interpreted your own dream. Please interpret my own. You know one thing about this life? Our dreams are interwoven. As I interpret your own, you have a way of interpreting my own. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? That is the reason why many are where they are. As their dream is being interpreted, they forget the place where it was interpreted. That's what the man did. He forgot him. He abandoned Joseph in prison. Now, why was Joseph interpreting your dream? He was interpreting your dream so that you can interpret his own. The Bible says, after two full years, when the man forgot him, God bypassed the man and went to give his master dream. Because if that man had gone to talk to Pharaoh from day one, Pharaoh would have removed him. Guess because he had no dream to help him, Joseph. No interpretation. So God needed to bypass. As I want to pray for you, whoever God has assigned to interpret your dream to rise in life, even if they abandon you, God will go higher than them. God will choose a better one. Someone is coming to knock at your door. Somebody is receiving an email. Somebody is receiving a text message. Your destiny is about to change. You are about to enter the door. You are about to rise again. You are about to start to testify. If that person is here, let me hear the loudest amen. Sit down. He forgot him. Life is about dream interpretation. Somebody help me shout. Where is my interpreter? I can hear you shout it better. Joseph interpreted the dream of the prisoner. Yesterday was a prisoner. Through interpretation, you are now back to the palace. How about the person who interpreted your dream? You have forgotten him. You forgot him. Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that what? Hate God. Hate God. Visit church. To them that what? Love God. Love God. Things work together for good for them. And we know. That's what he said. Romans 8 28. Ladies and gentlemen, we realize that why Joseph was forgotten in the priest, God was working everything together for good. And not quite long, after two full years, the Bible says, and Pharaoh had a dream. So the same prisoner, when he saw that everyone had failed, and now Pharaoh was no longer happy, nor even opening door for him, because Pharaoh probably wanted to change everybody in his cabinet. It was then he said, sir, I have done something wrong. There is a young man who interpreted my own dream two years ago. He's in the prison. That takes me to keep doing something. Wherever you are, keep doing it. Keep doing it and not just doing it, do it well. Did you hear what I'm saying? If they don't value you there, one day those who value you will send for you. Are you all hearing me now? Don't walk as a betrayer. Don't be a betrayer. Don't walk grumbling. Walk with joy. 
Walk as if, eh? Are you sure you're hearing me now? Walk inside trouble as if there's no trouble. Do you know what you are? You are not an ordinary Christian. You are like a tea bag. A tea bag, you don't know the strength until you enter hot water. Put a tea bag in a hot water. What happened? It changes the color. May God use you to change the color of your family. If you are here, let me hear an amen like thunder. He forgot him. But God bypassed him. Stop looking at man. Look more to God. If they fail, God cannot fail. If they say no, God will not say no. If they turn their back on you, dog will turn his front on you. Are you sure? Joseph said to them, why are you sad? Are you sad because of the prison? We have been here, not be free accommodation. <laughs> Praise God. Free accommodation, free food, free sleep. Palace prison. At all, at all, night bad pass. Are we not better than those under the bridge? Rain, they beat us here. So, Joseph look at the right thing. Why do we look at the wrong thing? Why are you sad? Now, if Joseph was sad, he will not see a sad person. The reason why good people don't come after you because you scare them. You look too serious for your destination. You are young, but all your veins, they are protruded. You look as if the whole problem of the world is on your head. So by the time they see you, they run from you because they are bundle of problem and they don't want anyone that look like them. Do you know that talkative, married talkative, marriage not the work? One must be cool while one is hot. If two of them are cold, they will sit on their head. Come on, shout hallelujah. Are you all hearing me now? It takes a positive and a negative to ignite currents. If you carry too positive, there can't be light. If you carry too negative, there can't be light. Are you all hearing me? That is what life is all about. Why are you sad today? And they say, I have a dream. There is no interpretation. Don't be angry that nobody don't interpret your dream. And when I mean interpretation, I mean destiny helpers. I mean those when God sent to help you. They are the interpreter. Somebody help me shout, where is my interpreter? God can create a problem that you are the only person that have the solution. So they are not. You are not going to go there begging. They are coming to beg you. They are coming. Oh, Ramash, are you all hearing what I'm saying? That's why you must stand well in your family. Stand in righteousness. Pontica's wife says, "Sleep with me. Let's have fun. Not, let's remove the occasion. Let's let's have fun and, and let's just have it. Nobody will see us." Joseph said, Madam, I won't do this. I could have done any else, but not this one. If you don't do it, I will lie against you. Ma, I am used to this. Are you sure you're hearing me now? In the first place, lie brought me to where I am. They lied against me, they threw me here. And now, if you lie against me again, this God will not abandon me. I am, I am used to it. So if you watch, it was standing with God. What was that woman and Satan after? That woman and Satan was after removing the ability to interpret dream. Because if you don't interpret anyone's dream, no one will interpret yours. I hear you, sir. Wow, I know you've been richly blessed by this message you have heard. Now, I want you to take quality decision this year to serve him better. Now, this is what you do. In case you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to say with me, say, Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. From now onward, I choose to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, 
for accepting me. And if you have said that prayer, I welcome you to the family and I can now declare that you are born again. And I command all things to pass away. I bless you with favor. It is well with you when you go out. It is well when you come in. Arise and shine in Jesus' name. Amen. We wait and you know.